Are you struggling with an upgraded version of Python on your Mac and wishing you could just go back to the previous one? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle how to downgrade Homebrew Python on your Mac OS. I totally get it. Upgrading software can sometimes lead to unexpected issues, and it can be really frustrating when you just want things to work as they did before. You're definitely not the only one facing this challenge. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. A user running macOS Sierra 10.12.4 recently found that their homebrew Python was upgraded to version 2.7.13, and they want to switch back to version 2.7.10. Sound familiar? Let's dive into how we can solve this. So why would you want to downgrade Python? Sometimes newer versions can introduce changes that break compatibility with your projects or dependencies. Understanding this helps us find the right solution for you. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to manage your Python versions more effectively in the future. To begin downgrading Homebrew Python, the user should first check the currently installed versions of Python. This can be done by running a specific command in the terminal. Next, the user needs to uninstall the current version of Python. This is important to ensure that the older version can be installed without conflicts. After uninstalling, the user should tap into the Homebrew versions repository. This allows access to older versions of software, including Python. Now the user can install the specific version of Python they need. In this case, they will install Python version 2.7.10. Finally, the user should verify that the downgrade was successful by checking the installed version of Python again. Fun fact, did you know that Python was named after the British comedy group Monty Python? So if you're feeling frustrated, just remember that even Python has a sense of humor. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves downloading Python version 3.6.0 from the official Python website. After downloading, install it as a normal package. Next, navigate to the Python framework directory using the command line. Type cd library slash framework slash python dot framework slash versions to access the installed versions. Once there, list the installed versions with the ls command. To remove version 3.7, use sudo rf 3.7. Finally, check the current Python version by running python 3-v. It should now display version 3.6. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. One alternative approach is to avoid downgrading Python altogether. Instead, you can use both versions on your system. For files that need Python 2, Simply use the command python2 followed by your file name. For Python 3, use python3 with your file name. This way, you can keep the latest version as the default without the hassle of downgrading. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach suggests avoiding changes to the system Python by using independent Python installations for each project. This way, you can manage different Python versions without conflicts. By using virtualenv, each project can have its own Python version, ensuring compatibility with libraries. This method allows you to work with both Python 2.7 and Python 3 without interference. Here's that quick tip I promised. Consider using a version manager like Pinebee. It allows you to easily switch between different Python versions without the hassle of uninstalling and reinstalling. And there you have it. You should now have Python 2.7.10 back on your Mac. Remember, managing your Python versions can save you a lot of headaches in the future. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.